They say that you don't know what you got till it's gone. This week, you're going to have a clear indication of that, especially in the presence of other people's lives. Basically, you're going to get a clear understanding of how valuable your soul is and when you're missing, how deep of an impact that is felt. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to go missing, but certain experiences that will happen this week will alert others to that knowledge, but it'll also alert you as well. Yes, your soul actually does hold some value. Now, in a spiritual sense, it is very right to say that every single soul is priceless and there's really no finite value that you could place on one soul. However, this week, you all have a soul appraisal and you will understand realistically how valuable you really are. This is important because a lot of you shortchange yourself. A lot of you underestimate yourself. Taurus gets the bad rap for being pretentious and a negative manifestation of the energy could be pretentiousness, but Taurus is a very royal energy. So most Tauruses know how to walk around with that sense of self-esteem and worth. They know they're worth it. This week, you are going to know without a doubt you are very worth it. The planet of love is meeting with the planet of mental understanding and conscious illumination all in the sign of Taurus this week in a sweet conjunction and this is going to make you very, 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 very clear on the beauty of life, the beauty of what you have, the beauty of your value and a lot of you over the course of the next two weeks, even borrowing from last week, you're going to enter some very sweet relationships. This is even better for those of you in existing partnerships as you're definitely going to foster a great sense of connection. We have a glorious grand trine still and Jupiter is finally direct so let me tell you a lot of the work that Jupiter did while retrograde you're now going to start to see the meaning behind the seeds planted some of you might have had this feeling that something was missing when Jupiter was retrograde now that it's direct and ready to head into Libra I promise you this is honestly where the fun really starts. You're going to start noticing all the little details over the past two months that now you can finally fill in the dots with or connect the dots with and actually make real fantastic progress starting now. The abundance of earth energy we have is totally promoting financial breakthroughs, material breakthroughs, but most importantly, breakthroughs in self-worth. A lot of you are going to actually feel and experience a sense of confidence that you have not felt in a long while. And it is at this moment you should really pat yourself on the back because the reason why you will gain this sense of self-confidence is because of the work you've done. Not anybody else, they have helped, but it has a lot to do with your hard soul work. Really working hard to grow from any challenges that you've had. Trust me, there are periods of astrology where it's time to just relax and reap in, and we are entering that right now. Despite this period though, we're still gonna have to deal with the challenges indicated by the two squares, the Pluto-Uranus square and the Neptune-Saturn Jupiter T-square. But this time, you're gonna see how these challenges actually work in your favor. And the more you could actually radically express yourself and be fearless with what you believe, the more you'll attract the right people in your soul group and the more you'll establish your true position allowing the universe to guide you into new pastures. All in all, I hope you enjoy the soul appraisal you'll get from now until the end of Taurus season. I know you will. And until next week, one and all, peace.